subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss any update. Hello everyone, welcome to yet another video. In this video, I'll show you how to create a four-wheel drive Arduino RC car which can be controlled using your Android smartphone over Bluetooth channel. Let's talk about the block diagram. We are using Arduino Uno as the brain of this project. Arduino will control the direction of rotation of the 1000 RPM motors through two motor driver ICs L298N. The Bluetooth module HC05 will be used to establish the communication between Arduino Uno and our Android smartphone over Bluetooth channel. The two white LEDs will serve as the front light and the two red LEDs will serve as the tail lamp. The piezo buzzer is used as the RC car horn. The project is powered up by using a 11.1V 2200mAh lithium ion battery. So first of all you need to design your PCB, you can choose online or offline platform for doing this. Here we use Fritzing software to design the PCB. Go to Fritzing, design your circuit using the breadboard tab. You can pick the required components to build the circuit from the top right search panel and add it to the breadboard tab. Refer the picture to make one by your own. Go to PCB tab, you could see the PCB layout automatically created according to the design that we made in the breadboard tab. Arrange the components onto the PCB. Now go to routing and click on auto route. This will rearrange the connection to fit with the PCB. Once the design is done, you can export it to a Gerber format. Go to File, Export, for Production and click on Extended Gerber. Create a new folder and click on Select Folder. This will export all files to that folder. Now compress the folder to zip or RAR format using any of the zipping software. Let's open JLC PCB website. The basic price goes $2 for 10 pieces of PCBs if you order a 2 layer PCB of size up to 100 by 100 mm. This is perfect price if you want to make prototype of your hobby projects or even for your professional products. To order PCBs, first of all you need to make an account in this website. You can do so by clicking on register option if you are not yet registered. Provide a username, then input your email id and finally set a password. Now you are ready to upload your Gerber file that we created earlier. Now click on Quote Now button. Click on Add your Gerber file to upload the PCB file. Once it is successfully uploaded, then you will be able to view the PCB in the Gerber viewer. The PCB dimensions are automatically adjusted here. JLC PCB also gives a choice for choosing the color of the PCB masking. You can choose any color from these available options. You can leave all other parameters as default. You can see it's only costing you $2 for 10 PCBs. Now we will click on save to cart option. After that click on check out securely. Now you need to add your shipping address and shipping method. Talking about the shipping method, DHL will uh, deliver in 3 to 4 days while airmail will take it in 15 to 20 days. Choose the method according to your need. After that select the payment method. You can pay using your credit card or debit card or even using PayPal account. Complete the payment and wait for the delivery. 
It took me seven days to get this delivered at my home address in India. Let's tear off the wrapper and see what is inside it. So here is the invoice. Let's put it aside and see our PCBs. So here is the cardboard box with JLC PCB printer on it. Let's just open this box and see what is inside. You could see a nice paper ball pen provided with PCB as a complimentary gift. Now let's open the bubble wrap. So here are the PCBs. Here one thing to notice that JLC PCB takes ultimate care of our PCBs. The PCBs are also resealed inside a bubble wrap. With this uh, JLC PCB ensures our PCBs don't get any physical damages during the transportation. Now let's tear off the seal and take our PCBs. As you could see the PCB which came looked same as per the design that we uploaded to the JLC PCB website and the PCB came with green masking if you could remember we had selected green color while placing the order. Now let's have a closer look to check the quality of the PCB. The silk screen uh, perfectly overlaps with the pads. The silk screen is neat and clearly visible. Then uh, we have this shiny solder pads on both sides which makes the soldering of the components very easy. Now let's show you the components required before moving to the soldering process. Now let's solder the components. As you can see the soldering process makes very easy because of the perfect solder pads. Now we can upload the sketch to our Arduino. Connect Arduino to your computer using the USB cable and upload the code. If you are using Arduino for the first time, I have given links to watch the Arduino ID installation for Windows and Ubuntu in the description. Follow the orders shown in the video while assembling the circuit.
so our project is working as per our design we hope that you enjoy the project please do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you like this video visit our website to know more about this project please subscribe our channel as you like this video